All right, so we are currently in a state park in uh, Western Oregon. We're right on the coast. Uh, typically, state parks aren't necessarily somewhere that I often like to stay, but a lot of places along the coast is pretty much your only option if you do want to explore the coast is going to be staying in state parks. There are a few hidey hole little places that I have found here and there, uh, but for the most part, state parks are going to be the case. And in this particular case, I'm, I'm um, just kind of adventuring up Highway 101 with some friends, and uh, we are at, um, I don't know what state park, I don't know what the name of the state park is we're on. I'll put it down in the description or in the video here somewhere. But um, anyways, I thought this morning, uh, what we'd do is do a little cooking video, and I'm just gonna make up some, a kind of a, sausage and egg scramble. And so what we have here is I've got some onions, some serrano peppers, uh, some small, some mini peppers, uh, mini bell peppers, uh, pork sausage patties, uh, pre-cooked uh, pre pork sausage patties. Of course, we got eggs and I've got some garlic. Uh, we're gonna use our new Camp Chef Summit stove and our 10 inch uh, skillet or 10 inch cast iron skillet and uh, we'll get started. So um, I like this kind of breakfast because they're pretty quick and easy to make in the field. Um, they're not a lot, just not a lot of mess not, and it doesn't take a lot of time. So uh, first thing I'm going to do is grab, uh, grab some of these sausages and I think I'll grab out like four sausages here. And like I said, these are pre-cooked sausages. You don't have to use pre-cooked sausages. I just find that using the pre-cooked sausages makes uh, life a little bit easier uh, for me. So what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna grab out uh, my William Collins. This is my William Collins w, uh, WCSK. And it's great knife, great all around knife. Works really great for the food prep, but also works really great for around camp doing other chores as well. But I'm just gonna cut these sausages up into some small pieces. And it's pretty simple, we'll just get them all cut up. There. And then I'll just kind of set them aside, or actually what we'll do is we'll just go ahead and put them off into the skillet here. And I will <clears throat> just kind of spread them around a little bit. And let's just go ahead and we'll stuff them on the burner. Now, uh, on my summit stove here, uh, it doesn't quite fit a 10 inch skillet uh, perfectly. So I just take one of the wind blocks and, and just set it down. Uh, but what I'm just gonna do here is I'm just gonna turn this on, hit the lighter. Um, Yep, and we're lit. So I'm just gonna kinda keep it kinda low right now um, and just get those sausages started to cook. So I'll just kinda get them in there and get started to cook while I cut up some of the other ingredients. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut up an onion. We've got a little thing of onions. This is where I really like this knife. Um, I just think it works really good uh, for, for preparing and cutting up vegetables like this. Uh, the design that William did on this knife is just kind of really unique, but at the same time, it's so useful for so many, so many other tasks uh, that I've just really, really, really enjoyed it. But so anyhow, we'll just do this and we'll just cut up some thin onions. Again, this one's stainless steel. This is uh, his stainless steel knife. Um, you can also get it in carbon steel, but I've got, can't come to the realization that I kind of prefer uh, stainless for my camp needs. So now I'm just gonna grab out some peppers. These peppers have been kind of bouncing around in my truck for a while, so they're gonna kind of need to get eaten, but so we're just gonna go ahead and do quite a few of them. Again, we'll just cut them real thin. Um, it's, again, I don't want it to sound like a total 
commercial for Williams knives. He does have nice knives, but it just really surprises me that such a big knife can do such a good job at cutting these peppers so thin. Um, again, just so just gonna cut up everything. And I'm no chef by any means, you know, I just, I just make food to eat. That's all I care about. And um, it's, as long as it tastes good, that's all that matters to me. All right, so there we got everything kind of cut up. Uh, as far as, oh, no, still got one more thing here. I like to have a little bit of heat in my, um, a little bit of heat. So I'm gonna go ahead and add, I'm just gonna set this stuff aside. Another thing too, uh, all I'm doing is for a cutting board, this is just one, my tote lid uh, for my food, my dry food. I just use this lid, it works really good. Uh, it makes a really good cutting board, makes it so I don't have to have carry extra gear with me. Uh, or an extra cutting board and then I just kind of clean it up just like I would any other cutting board and use it to uh, cover up my food so so yeah works out really well all right I think I'll go ahead and do two peppers all right so now we got our peppers everything cut just set everything aside. I can hear the sausages are starting to kick over here, so I'm just gonna give them a little stir. I just wanna get these browned up. Um, once they're good and brown, then uh, then I can, then I'll go ahead and add the uh, peppers, but I wanna get these kind of browned up a little bit too. Also, by getting these going, um, I'm just adding a little bit of, the sausages themselves are just kind of, uh, adding some oil to the pan, which will make uh, everything else cook a little bit nicer. So those are going there. All right, so while I was waiting for the uh, sausages to brown up, I went ahead and kind of repositioned the cameras here, so hopefully you guys can see what we got going on in the skillet. Uh, now that those are all browned up, we are going to, I'm just gonna go ahead and grab my onions here and add them in. And add the peppers in as well. Get everything in there. Okay, now that I got everything in the pan, I'm just going to go ahead and stir it around, utilizing the oils and you know oil and grease that was made from the sausages to kind of cook these up. Once these get to a point, for me, you know, I like the vegetables not to be too overcooked. So once they get kind of to a point where they're um, tender, but not, you know, soggy, uh, then we'll add the eggs. One other, <coughs> one other ingredient here I am gonna add is some garlic. Uh, I'm not, I'm cheating. I'm gonna use uh, some minced garlic that I'd buy from the store uh, instead of cutting up garlic because it's just kind of a pain to cut garlic up. So I'm just gonna, like I said, we're just gonna cheat on this one and just use some minced garlic. All right, it's smelling fantastic uh, at this point. And again, you know, I think we only are into this deal like maybe 10 minutes uh, of time and uh, we're already starting to get to where this is looking pretty good. So I'm gonna do that, and then what I'm gonna do is just let that cook for a minute. I'm just gonna put this lid over the top of it, let that cook for a minute. I'm gonna go ahead and turn up my stove just a touch, and I'll let it cook for, I don't know, two, three minutes, or until, like I said, when I can kind of feel like the vegetables are like I said, they're not completely soggy, but they still got just a little bit of crunch, you know, kind of tender. I'm not really sure what the true technical cook term for that is, but uh, you know what, I, I think you guys know what I mean. All right. Okay, so I think that's looking good. Now, when I add my eggs, I like to just get everything kind of shoved off to the side. 
get all that shoved off the side, and then go ahead and crack my eggs into the pan uh, like I was gonna cook them sunny side up. Looks like my eggs are a little bit on the cold side. Uh, maybe I've got my fridge just a little bit too, a little bit too cold. I need to warm it up a little bit. That one doesn't look too bad, but yeah, that other one looked like it was a little bit on the frozen side. There we go. So I'm gonna do that. All right, so while these are kind of cooking, I'm just gonna go ahead and add just a little bit of pepper to the top of these eggs. And then what I do is just to actually turn the heat off completely and put the lid onto the thing, uh, onto the pan. And then I'll just let those eggs kind of cook just like that until they just start to look like they're starting to cook over the top a little bit. And so we'll let that set for a minute and then we'll come back to it. All right, so now that um, now they've been sitting for a little bit, they're just starting to get that little bit of uh, cooked look over the top. Now I'm gonna go ahead and mix them into the uh, rest of my vegetables and meat. I like doing it this way because I don't know, it just seems like the eggs uh, have a little better con um, consistency. Uh, I if I just put the eggs over the top of the vegetables and mix them in, then they kind of just, I don't know, they just get, I just don't like the way they turn out uh, that way. I don't know how to explain it really any better than that, but I just like the way they kind of come out when, they, when I do it this way and how they mix in with the vegetables. All right. So that looks pretty good. I think what I'm gonna do is do some breakfast burritos this morning. So uh, this is kind of a last minute idea. So what I'm gonna do is just grab one of my plates here and I'm going to scoop out all this stuff. God, it smells good. It smells delicious. I'm like super hungry too. But let's just get everything scooped out of here as best we can. We also have, we've also gotten the attention of some crows. I have to say one thing about that I have learned traveling through the state parks here, uh, coming up the uh, Oregon coast is I have more issues with animals here in the state parks than I do when I'm out dispersed camping in the middle of nowhere. Uh, last state park we stayed at down in Bandon Beach, uh, we had some raccoons that were coming in and you know co constantly pestering us and trying to you know see if we had any food or see if they could get in. And like I said, here I have a couple of crows. It looks like it looks like they did bail on me, but I have a couple of crows that have been very interested uh, in what I've got going on. So anyways, like I said, I think I'm gonna make breakfast burritos, so let me grab a couple tortillas. So I'm just gonna take tortilla, and I'm just gonna put that in the pan. Uh, that way I can heat that up, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn my heat back on. And then we can go ahead and just kind of toast this tortilla a little bit. All right, well, I think this tortilla is ready to go. I'm just gonna throw another one in because I know I'm gonna have two. And I'm just gonna grab a little bit of this and we'll stuff it right on the tortilla. Oops, kind of making a mess here, kind of making a mess. All right, so I'm just folding it up, trying to get it all in there. Trick is, is don't overfill it, don't overfill it. Mmm, 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 mmm. And there you go, guys. Real simple camp meal. Um, doesn't take a lot of effort uh, to get cooked, and you got some really delicious. Mmm. Really super delicious breakfast burritos for the morning. So. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like. If you're new to my channel and you like camping videos, uh, please check out some of my other videos and subscribe, and I'll see you guys again outside. <clears throat> mm -mm -mm.